Hello everyone, you are welcome in this new video. In today's lesson, we are going to talk about the active voice and the passive voice. We are going to study the active voice and the structure of the active voice and the structure of the passive voice and how to move the sentences from the active to the passive voice. So, هاد الفيديو على حساب الاكتيف فويس والباسيف فويس غادي نشوفوا لا ستراكتور ديال الاكتيف فويس يعني كيفاش كان كتكون السنتنس مكتوبه في الاكتيف فويس وغادي نشوفوا عاوتاني كيفاش غادي نكتبوا السنتنس في الباسيف فويس وغادي نشوفوا كيفاش غادي نخدموا السنتنس يعني نحولوا السنتنس من الاكتيف فويس للباسيف فويس So we begin first of all by the active voice. I didn't begin with structure the active voice. In general, we use the active voice when a subject does an action to an object. The meaning of this sentence is that generally, we use the active voice or we write sentences in the active voice. فاش كنبغيو نبينو على ان الفاعل دار واحد الفعل للمفعول به يعني جميع السنتنسز اللي غادي نخدموها في هذا الفيديو عندها ستراكتشر ديال سابجيكت فيرب اوبجيكت يعني فا فاعل فعل عاد مفعول به بينما في العربيه عندنا الفاعل الفعل عاد المفعول به ان انجليش اند ان فرنش وي هاف ذا سابجيكت فيرب اند اوبجيكت اوكي دونك فاش في الاكتيف فويس فاش كنبغيو نبينو على انه الفاعل دار واحد الفعل المفعول به كنخدمو هاد ستراكتشر نتاع سابجيكت فيرب اوبجيكت وكيكون هذاك السابجيكت هو يعني دوور اوف ذا اكشن يعني هو اللي قام بالفعل حيت غادي نشوفو في الباسيف فويس غادي نلقاو السابجيكت ولكن ماشي هو اللي قام بالفعل دونك هنا غادي ناخذ واحد المثال Here is an example Anne writes a letter Anne is a name of a female person Anne هو واحد الاسم نتاع واحد البنت ولا انثى ولا اوكي okay. Anne Anne writes a letter Anne اسم writes هو فعل نتاع to write to write اوكي okay. a letter هي رساله بمعنى انه Anne كتبت رساله ياك ان رايتس ا ليتر هنا في هذا المثال هذا عندنا ان هو السبجكت السبجكت نتاع هذا السنتنس هذا السبجكت اوكي وعندنا رايتس هو الفيرب الفيرب اللي قامت به ان الليتر هو ذا دايركت اوبجكت يعني المفعول به ذا دايركت اوبجكت اوكي ناو غادي فاش نتمعنو في هذا المثال هذا ان رايتس ا ليتر دابا شكون اللي قام بالفعل ان هي اللي قامت بالفعل يعني از ذا دوور اوف ذا اكشن هذا ان هي اللي قامت بالفعل ات مينز ذا دوور دوور هو الفاعل اوكي ان از ذا دوور اوف ذا اكشن رايتس هو ذا اكشن ويتش از دان تو ذا تو ذا اوبجيكت رايت رايت هو الفعل هي ديك الاكسيون اللي دارها الفاعل للمفعول به يعني ان قامت بواحد الفعل للمفعول به ان كتبت رساله دونك ان هو السبجكت يعني ذا دور رايت هو الفعل اور ذا اكشن الليتر هو ذا دايركت اوبجيكت اوكي وركزوا لي مزيان على ان حيت هي السبجكت وهي ذا دور اوف ذا اكشن اوكي سو ان جينيرال خذوها قاعده على انه في الاكتيف فويس السابجيكت كيكون هو نفسه ذا دور اوف ذا اكشن اوكي ان ذيس اكزامبل ان رايتس ا ليتر ذا فيرب تو رايت از كونجيجيتد ان ذا سيمبل بريزنت تنس The structure in this sentence is 
SVO. It means subject, verb, object. Now we move to the other example. Somebody stole my laptop. Somebody stole my laptop. Here somebody is the subject. Stole is the verb. My laptop is the direct object. Now somebody is the doer of the action. Is the sub somebody is the subject of the sentence and is the doer of the action يعني في هذه الجمله هذه عندنا somebody هي subject وهذاك somebody هو الفاعل نتاع هذيك نتاع الفعل يعني نتاع الاكشن اوكي stole it mean هو uh, the, the action which is done to the object اوكي okay? يعني stole هو الحركه او الفعل اللي قام به الفاعل للمفعول به My laptop is the direct object Now notice that stole is conjugated in the past simple tense and the structure of the sentence is is SVO Now we move to the other example She was cooking the dinner. She is the subject of the sentence and at the same time is the doer of the action. Was cooking is the verb and here the verb is conjugated in the past continuous or the past progressive. The dinner is the direct object. Now, she was cooking the dinner. She is the doer of the action. The action is was cooking. Okay? She was cooking the dinner. Other example is The two kids are singing their favorite song. Here, the subject is the two kids. It is not necessary in the subject that we have just one element in the subject. Okay, we can have two or more words in the subject. Okay, the two kids are the, is the subject. Okay, and the two kids are the doers of the action. يعني اللي قاموا بالفعل. Are singing is the action, and it is the verb. Their favorite song is the direct object. The two kids are singing their favorite song. Here. The verb is conjugated in the present continuous or the present progressive. Other example is I will clean the room every day. Here will I will clean okay we have model okay I will clean the room every day. The subject is I. I. I am the doer of the action. Will clean is the verb. It is the action which is done to the object. Now, the room is the direct object. Not the room every day, but just the room. The room is the direct object. Every day is an adver adverb of time, okay? It's not the direct object. The direct object is only the room, okay? Here, the, uh, the verb is conjugated in the future simple tense. 
Now, please keep in mind that in the active voice, the doer of the action is the subject of the sentence. يعني الفاعل اللي قام بالفعل هو بنفسه هو subject. يعني يحل محل subject. كالقوم في نفس البلاصة. يعني كالقوم في أول الجملة. مثلا Anne writes a letter Anne هي اللي قامت بالفعل ومام تنرها هي الفاعل يعني هي subject with the doer of the action at the same time من بعد كان القاو writes اللي هي الفعل the verb which is the action okay? الفعل هو الاكشن and a letter اللي هي الobject Now, why we use the active voice? We use the active voice when we want to emphasize the doer of the action or to give more importance to the doer of the action. بمعنى كان خدمو الactive voice فش كان بغو نعطيو أهمية كبيرة للفاعل يعني the doer of the action. أو كان بغو نبي نشكون هو اللي قام بالفعل. فاش مثلا كنقولو ان writes a letter هنا اعطينا البوزيشن ديال subject to the doer اوكي حطيناه في subject يعني the doer حطيناه في subject دونك هنا بغينا نبينو شكون هو اللي قام بالفعل شكون هو الشخص الذي قام بالفعل now by contrast or in contrast the passive voice is used to give more importance to the object of the sentence rather than the doer of the action عقلو مزيان على انه في الاكتيف فويس كنبغيو نعطيو اهميه كبيره to the doer we give more uh, importance to the doer but in the passive voice no we give in the passive voice, more importance to the object of the sentence rather than the doer of the action. يعني كان عطيو أهمية الأوبجكت ماشي للسابجكت or ماشي للدور يعني الفاعل اللي قام بالفعل. In the passive voice, we usually don't mention the doer of the action because in some cases, it is not necessary to mention the doer دابا في الباسيف فويس ماشي مرات ما كان آه ماشي زعما بالضروره اننا نبينو الفاعل اللي قام بالفعل علاش لانه ان سام تايمز ات از نوت نيسيسري تو منشن ذا دور يعني ما ما كيكونش واحد عنده واحد الاهميه اننا نبينو شكون هو اللي قام بالفعل اور وي دونت نو ذا دور اوف ذا اكشن زعما ما كنعرفوش شكون هو اللي قام بالفعل مثلا فاش كنقولو somebody stole my laptop هداك somebody راه في الأصل ما عارفين شكون هو اوكي okay? or we forget who did do or does the action يعني كنكونو نسينا شكون اللي قام بالفعل اوكي okay? او uh, قام او يقوم اوكي okay? uh, we forget who did do or does the action Now, إلا بغينا نبينو ل the doer of the action, we add by the doer. If we want to mention in the passive voice, if we want to mention the doer, we add at at the end of the sentence by plus the doer. And I will show you how to move from the active voice to the passive voice. And how to add by plus the doer. Now please keep in mind, in the active voice, the subject of the sentence is the doer of the action. Okay? The subject equals the doer. And in the passive voice, the subject of the sentence is the object. Like this, subject plus verb plus object equals object plus ac uh, action plus by the doer. 
Now, look at this table. We have a sentence that is written in the active voice and written in the passive voice. عندنا جملة مكتوبة في الاكتيف فويس ومكتوبة في الباسيف فويس In the active voice we have Anne writes a letter We have Anne is the subject of the sentence and it is the doer of the action Okay, writes is the action and a letter is the object Now, in the passive voice we have a letter is written by Anne Notice that a letter which is the object in the passive uh, in the active voice becomes the subject okay becomes the subject and it is not the doer of the action is written is the action and is the doer of the action we have object plus action plus by the doer here we cannot say that a letter is the doer of the action okay a letter is written by an an is the doer of the action but a letter it is just a subject but it is not the doer of the action this is the difference between the active voice and the passive voice in the active voice the subject is the is at the same time the doer of the action but in the passive voice the subject it is not the doer of the action but it is the object the object only sorry قلنا بالنسبة active voice كي يكون عندنا subject هو نفسه the doer of the action أما بالنسبة passive voice كي يكون العكس عندنا object هو subject وما نقدروش وما نقدروش نقولوا بلي انه subject هو the doer of the action حيت فاش كنقولوا a letter is written by an يعني رساله كتبت من طرف ان يعني هذيك الرساله ماشي هي الفاعل يعني الرساله ماشي هي اللي كتبت راسها لا راه الرساله هي الاوبجيكت letter is written by an شكون هي ان هي the doer of the action not a letter a letter ماشي هي الفاعل الفاعل هي ان هي اللي قامت بالفعل اما letter راها جست الاوبجيكت ماشي آه ماشي الفاعل ولكن هنايا كتحل محل السبجكت دونك في الاكتيف فويس عندنا السبجكت ايكولز ذا دوور اوف ذا اكشن كيكونوا بجوجهم بحال بحال ذا سابجيكت هو نفسه ذا دور اوف ذا اكشن بينما في الباسيف فويس كيكون عندنا السابجيكت هو الاوبجيكت ناو هاو وي موف فروم ذا اكتيف فويس تو ذا باسيف فويس We go back to the first example which I give you at the beginning of the lesson. Anne writes a letter. This sentence is written in the active voice. Now we want to move it to the passive voice. Here we give more importance to the subject of the sentence which is Anne. The structure of the sentence is subject verb object. First of all, we move the object from its position to the subject position. After that, we see in which tense the active sentence is conjugated. Here, the sentence Anne writes a letter. The verb writes is conjugated in the simple present tense. In the passive voice, we always need the verb to be. Now we conjugate the verb to be in the same tense of the active sentence. Writes is conjugated in the simple present, so the verb to be, we conjugate the verb to be in the simple present tense. So we have am, um, the verb to be in the simple present have uh, or has three uh, forms. Am 
is and are. After we conjugate the verb to be in the simple present tense, we put the main verb in the past participle. Here in the active voice, the main verb is writes, to write, okay? We put this verb to write in the past participle, which is written. At the end, if we want to mention the doer, يعني إلا بغينا نبينو شكون هو الفاعل اللي قام بالفعل غادي نزيدو by plus the doer it means by an because an is the doer of the action the passive voice sentence will be a letter is we, we say a letter is not a letter Am or a letter R because a letter we can substitute it by it it is a letter is okay a letter is written we add the past participle of the main verb plus by an now the active voice is an writes a letter and the passive voice sentence is a letter is written by an we move to other example somebody stole my laptop here somebody is the subject stole is the verb my laptop is the object we write the object in the position of the subject then we conjugate the verb to be in the same tense of the active sentence. Somebody stole my laptop. Stole is conjugated in the past simple tense. The verb is to steal. The past participle is stolen. And if we want to add the doer of the action, we add at the end of the sentence by plus the doer it means by somebody now the passive voice sentence will be my laptop was stolen by somebody we we say my laptop was not my laptop were okay my laptop was stolen by somebody if we don't want to mention uh, the doer of the action, we can just write my laptop was stolen. Now, please pause the video and try to work on these three examples. ديرو بوز لا فيديو وحاولوا تخدموا هاد ثلاثة نتاع لي زيكزامبل وشوفوا راسكم واش غادي تقدروا تخدموهم راسكم ولا لا. ومن بعد غادي نصحوهم. Now we correct. The sentence is she was cooking the dinner. She is the subject. Was cooking is the verb conjugated in the past continuous or the past progressive. The dinner is the object. Now we move the dinner from the position of the object to the position of the subject. We conjugate the verb to be in the same tense of the Active voice sentence was cooking is conjugated in the past continuous. So the verb to be we conjugated to the past uh, continuous also. We, we can say was being or were being. The main verb is to cook. Okay, the main verb is to cook. The past participle of to cook is cook it. Okay, and we, if we want to add the doer of the action, we add by her. Please notice, 
We say by her, not by she. Please remember that when the doer is a subject pronoun, like here in the example we have she, it becomes an object pronoun. For example, I becomes me, by me. You becomes by you. She becomes by her. He becomes by him. We becomes by us. They becomes by them. Now, the active sentence will be like this in the passive sentence. The dinner was being cooked by her. We say the dinner was being, not were being. Because the, di the dinner, we can substitute it by it. We say it was being cooked, not it were. Okay? The dinner was being cooked by her. If we don't want to mention the doer, we can say just the dinner was being cooked. And we put a period here. The other example is the two kids are playing football. We apply the same rules. The two kids is the subject. Are playing is the action or the verb. Football is the object. We move the object from its position to the subject position. We conjugate the verb to be in the same tense of the Active sentence. Our playing is conjugated in the present continuous. So, we conjugate the verb to be in the present continuous. We have three forms. Am being, are being, is being. And we look at the main verb to play. We conjugated in the past participle, played. And if we want to add the doer of the action in the passive voice, we add by plus the doers or plus the doer. By the two kids. Okay? Now, the passive voice will be football is being played by the two kids. We say football is being, not are being or am being. Because football, we can say, we can substitute it by it. It is is being football is being the last example i will clean the room every day i is the subject will clean is the verb the room is the object every day is an adverb of time now we move the the object from its position to the subject position. We conjugate the verb to be in the future simple tense. Will clean is conjugated in the future simple tense. So the verb to be is will be. Now to clean is the main verb. We conjugate it in the past participle cleaned. By plus the doer is by me because I is a subject pronoun becomes by me, okay? Not by I. Now, the passive voice sentence will be the room will be cleaned every day by me, okay? We put the, uh, the, the adverb of time after the past participle of the verb to clean. Now, you need to know the conjugations or the forms of the verb to be in all the tenses. We begin by the simple tense. In the past, simple the verb to be has two forms.
was, and were. In the present simple, the verb to be has three forms, am, are, and is. In the future simple, the verb to be has one form, which is will be. Now, we move to the continuous. The past continuous. The verb to be in the past continuous has two forms, was being and were being. In the present continuous has three forms, am being, are being, and is being. In the future continuous, the verb to be has only one form, which is will be being. Now we move to the perfect. In the present perfect tense, the verb to be has two forms, have been and has been. In the past perfect tense, the verb to be has one form, which is had been. In the future perfect, the verb to be has one form form, which is will have been. Now, we move to the perfect continuous. In the past perfect continuous, we say, or the verb to be has only one form, which is had been been. In the present perfect continuous, the verb to be has two forms, which are have been being and has been being and in the future perfect continuous the verb to be to be has only one form which is will have been being دونك خاصكم تعرفوا ضروري الفيرب تو بي يعني الكونجيكيشنز ديال هاد الفيرب تو بي في كاع سن اف كاع تنسز باش اي جمله يعني تطيح لكم في الامتحان ولا تقدروا تخدموها حيت لا باز هو الفيرب تو بي يعني اذا كنتوا عارفين الكونجيكيشنز ديال الفيرب تو بي دونك الجمل نتاع الباسيف فويس والاكتيف فويس غادي يكونوا يجوكم ساهلين بزاف غادي ندير واحد لا فيديو اخر فيه تمارين وتصحيح ديالهم باش تحاولوا هكا يعني يو براكتيس الاكسرسايزز باش يجيكم الامتحان ساهل ان شاء الله دونك ال الامثله اللي غادي نعطيها لكم غادي نحاول نجبدها غير من الامتحانات السابقه ديال البكالوريا سو ثانك يو فور واتشين اند سي يو نيكست تايم